It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 19th of January. I'm James Spann. Rain and storms becoming widespread today and tonight. Just a marginal severe weather risk, but a higher severe weather risk coming up over the weekend. A lot of things to talk about here, so let's dive in. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view as the day begins. Upper low west of the state. That will be approaching good dynamic support. We'll see a lot of rain and storms. Uh, today and tonight. In fact, already this morning, rain falling through parts of the state. That was the radar early at 414. Uh, we had uh, rain over northeast Alabama, rain moving into west Alabama. So it's going to be a wet day today and tonight. It's mild, upper 50s and low 60s as the day begins. Around the nation, the air colder in the northern states, but no real Arctic air. And we'll stay fairly mild through the weekend, but we start to turn colder next week. And a pretty good cool down about a week away here. Dense fog advisory for parts of the Gulf Coast region, including extreme South Alabama this morning. And out west, a lot of winter storm advisories and warnings there. But a lot of active convection coming up in the days ahead. This is the day one convective outlook for today and tonight. A marginal risk covers much of Alabama. And we'll talk about the uh, risk here in a moment. But I, I just think the risk is relatively small uh, we could see some storms with gusty winds and maybe some small hail. I think the main threat uh, initially will be heavy rain later today and tonight. But now this is tomorrow, tomorrow night, early Saturday morning. This is day two. Keep in mind, this runs through 6 a.m. Saturday. And you can see we have the standard slight risk for southwest Alabama, areas in yellow. That would include Demopolis and points south down to Mobile. A marginal risk up to Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. I think we'll have a round of storms perhaps tomorrow night affecting mainly southwest Alabama, and those could pack a punch. And then during the day Saturday, Saturday night into early Sunday morning, the southern two-thirds of the state in the standard slight risk, a marginal risk up into Tennessee. And understand this outlook runs through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And I think another round of storms is likely perhaps a Saturday night and early Sunday morning. And again, we'll talk about the uh, specifics in just a moment. And then this is the day four outlook. Uh, this is for Sunday during the day, and the risk begins to shift away from us. So as you can see, the idea beginning to uh, gel here that maybe the higher severe weather risk for the weekend will be perhaps at some point Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, or very early Sunday morning. And then during the day Sunday, the higher risk shifting on to the east. And the areas you see there, those are the uh, probabilities from the SPC on day four. One thing for sure, a lot of rain. I just want to show you the uh, rain for the next 24 hours. This is coming off the RPM model uh, that we have in the house. And uh, this verifies, this is suggesting we might see some three inch plus amount just for the next 24 hours with this lead batch of rain and storms in here. And if this verifies, there might be some localized flooding problems later today or tonight. And then for the next seven days, uh, rain amounts and the three and four inch range are likely counting all the rain we see this weekend. And again, that's the positive here and that uh, the northern half of the state is still in a drought. So model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 06C run at noon today. Upper trough to the west, beginning to go slightly negative tilt. Rain and storms pushing in today. Let's check the severe weather parameters at eight o'clock tonight. This is the end of the HRRR run as I do this update early this morning. The better instabilities over Mississippi and southwest Alabama at that point, as you can see. Uh, this is the SRH, the storm relative helicity, and those numbers are fairly high. Uh, this is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, the higher values over the southwestern part of the state. Here's forecast sounding for tonight, and there's a little mid-level dry air, but the forecast is pretty saturated. Uh, and this again, this is based for Birmingham tonight. And um, you can see that that's not a classic severe weather sounding there. The possible hazard type is marginal severe. So again, I think uh, the main threat's going to be heavy rain later today and tonight. But again, a, a storm could produce some strong winds. And the chance of a tornado is not zero. But I'd say it's pretty small. So tomorrow, we're kind of in between things during the day. Uh, the sun might peak out, and if the sun peaks out, we could rise up into the uh, mid-70s. In fact, the NAM is at 77 at record territory, but the GFS is showing 71. But again, I think that the bulk of the day will be kind of quiet tomorrow. 
And then tomorrow night into uh, Saturday morning, we might see some convection firing with multiple, this is the first of these multiple weekend rounds. Uh, this is 3 a.m. Saturday off the high res NAM. And uh, again, it's suggesting the main convection uh, tomorrow night, early Saturday morning, should be over the southern ha half of the state. That lines up pretty nicely with that SPC uh, standard slight risk. So if you are in South Alabama, you could see some severe weather tomorrow night, very early Saturday morning during the pre-dawn hours. Looks like the higher chance of that would be along and south of US 80. Now during the day Saturday, this is noon, and this is when, uh, again, you know what I'm going to say, we need to get through tonight. We need to see the state of the atmosphere tomorrow morning, and then we can be more confident here. But this is suggesting during the day Saturday that the air could be fairly unstable, uh, and we might see some thunderstorms initiating Saturday afternoon uh, over the northern part of the state. Uh, this is the look at 500 millibars at midday Saturday. And again, we got a very impressive trough to the west, good wind fields, a difluent flow. Instability values are pretty robust on Saturday for January. Uh, down in South Alabama, the amounts are in excess of 2,200 joules per kilogram and over 1,000 to 1,500 joules per kilogram over the northern part of the state. Um, this is the STP. Again, the higher values Saturday are over the southern part of the state, but with the dynamic forcing and deep shear over the entire region, we'll have to watch for severe storms area-wide. We'll go to a Sunday. This is Sunday morning at 6 a.m. And again, this is back in the upper levels, about 18,000 feet off the ground. You can see, again, that deep trough to the west with good support. And again, there could be another round of severe storms, uh, perhaps Sunday morning with a deep surface low that's over Arkansas, 991 millibars. But it's still a little muddy in terms of the timing of these rounds of storms over the weekend. Just understand we could see severe weather over the weekend as early as the pre-dawn hour Saturday morning, and then another couple of rounds perhaps uh, Saturday afternoon or maybe even early Sunday morning. We will have much more on the timing tomorrow morning once we get past these storms tonight. So just be prepared. Be sure you can pick up warnings this weekend. Have a good way of hearing warnings. Go to Monday, everything lifts on out. Monday's going to be a much cooler. Highs drop in the 50s, windy, some lingering, lingering light rain. Tuesday, the sun comes back out. The high will be around 60, another deep surface low across the plains. Wednesday, that low passes to the north, and again, there's not much activity below that. Wednesday looks fairly quiet, and this is a week from today, Thursday the 26th. Again, troughing to the west, maybe some light rain breaks out. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday the 28th, a very deep trough and colder air begins to move in. And in the numbers, you can see how highs will drop down in the 40s and lows down in the 20s. Going to turn cold again out there in about uh, 7 to 10 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. And again, obviously, I'm traveling today. I'll be back later today in Birmingham. I don't know if I can do a video. Probably not, but no more forecast notes coming up on the blog today. But the next video for sure here by tomorrow morning. Megan Thomas will be on ABC 3340 News tonight at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.